Hello everybody, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. Thanks for watching. In this video, what we're gonna do is have a look at WooCommerce products, and in particular, variable products. Now, variable product is a sort of product you'd use if you sell things that have different sizes or different variations. So it's perfect for things like clothes or shoes um, or anything that has some options on it. So obviously, you know, a T-shirt, for example, maybe a WordPress T-shirt. Um, has a number of different sizes and maybe a number of different colors. So that's when you need to use variable products so that when someone looks at that t-shirt, they can select, you know, size medium um, and color blue and, uh, and then they can add it to their cart. So without any more chit chat from me, let's uh, take a look at some products on WordPress and how we would set them up using variations. Now for this tutorial, let's take a look. I'm gonna be using the WP Eagle 2015 demo website. I'll add a link. Um, you'll see a little thing pop up here. They're called YouTube cards, they're brand new. But yeah, you click that and you can watch a video on how to make um, a website like this. And then after that, you need to watch a video that shows you how to make a shop and uh, you'll end up with a nice website that looks like this. But obviously it doesn't matter if you're already using WooCommerce, then, uh, then that's all irrelevant. So I'm logged in and if I go into the dashboard and go into products, Okay, so I've got this t-shirt that I added um, when I created the site. Now this t-shirt is uh, is just set up as a simple product. Um, so it doesn't have any sizes or, or anything like that. So we're gonna change it to a variable product so that you have got sizes. So let's just go to the, um, the front of the website. Here it is. Very simple, you know, just add to cart. But we obviously need to, uh, to be able to select some sizes. So to do that, let's go back to the dashboard. And the first thing we need to do is set up some attributes. So if you go to products and then attributes, and then give it a name. So this is size. And it's a select, that's right. So leave that as it is. I had to think about that for a second. Could you hear, hear the cogs ticking? Okay, so let's configure the terms. So let's add a new size, small, medium. Obviously you would add whatever variations you need to add, depending on your product. Okay, and obviously these variations can have different, pri um, different prices as well. So, you know, maybe a large is more expensive than a small. Um, Etc. Etc. So we've added these attributes, and now these can be applied to all our products, um, or some of the products, or none of the products. Um, but it's kind of like a central location um, for you to set them up. So if we go back to our t-shirt product, and then scroll down to the WooCommerce um, kind of setup area, um, let's call it that. Okay, so then what we need to do is change this drop down to a variable product. Okay, and then we can add an SKU, let's call it a T01. Now each size can have its own um, SKU as well, uh, or each variation can, I should say. Okay, so all the rest is, um, you know, stuff that you've probably played with before. Um, but what we need to do is add some attributes. So if we uh, go to our drop-down, size is there that we set up just a few minutes ago. Click Add, and that's added. Now we need to add the values that apply to this product. So not every product might have a large, medium, or small. Um, some might just be a small or medium. So here we can decide which values we want. I'm gonna add all of them. They, they do appear as a drop-down, or you can just collect, click Select All, and they're added. So let's click Save Attributes, so they're done. The next thing we need to tick before we leave this screen is we need to tick this use for variations, otherwise um, we won't be able to add them as variations. So the key difference between an attribute and a variation, attribute is just a way of kind of putting information on your product page. So, you know, the sizes that it's available, the material, um, whatever other data you want to appear on the product page. And it normally appears in the little description or additional information which appears towards the bottom of the page. When you tick use for variations, it then allows you to use those attributes to affect the price, uh, to allow the customer to select, uh, you know, what size they want, what fabric, whatever applies to your product. So that's the difference there. So once we've ticked this and clicked save, we can then go to variations and click link all variations. So when you click link all variations, that's gonna take uh, 
All of the variations you've got set up, obviously in this case, just sizes and link them to the product. So we've got our variations here. They're all linked to the product nicely. So we just need to set a few things on these. If we click expand all, we can see the settings. So as I said, you can set lots of things at the variation level like um, an SKU. So this one would be T001 large, obviously whatever your SKU is. We need to set a price, say five pounds. I won't bother the sale price right now. We can set whether it's in stock or out of stock. And you can set weights, dimensions, and shipping classes on a kind of per size, per variation, per whatever your attributes are basis. You can also add an, uh, an image uh, for each variation. So that's useful if you've got different colors, that kind of thing. If you want to update these in bulk, so say we wanted to set them all to a fiver, we could go uh, to prices using this top drop down here, go prices, go, and then if we put five in here, that will update all the prices to five pounds. Okay, then if we click update, view product, there we go, we can now choose an option, large, you can see the SKU changes. That's it, I hope that was clear, and you can now go away and add lots of variable products to your WooCommerce shop. Uh, if you like this video, um, please click the like button, and for more WordPress tutorials, videos, that kind of stuff, please subscribe, and I will see you soon. See you later.